Reality Check video review. That's right, we're going to do an unboxing, a 3D printer unboxing. This one is a do-it-yourself, and uh, it's got quite a bit of parts in there, so uh, I'm gonna get to the unboxing right away so I can get uh, to the rest of the time actually trying to put it together. So let's go ahead and do that right away. And just in case you're wondering, this is the Anet A8 Prusa i3 do-it-yourself 3D printer. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now. Let's do it. So much amazingness stuffed in this little tiny box. Okay, so here we have it. And under door number one, we have a lot of fabulous pieces. Excellent. That looks like a lot of fun. Go ahead and swipe this next layer. And under door number two, we have, all right, the ANET motherboard, the ANET display, as well as the actual board itself. All right. Go ahead and go to the next layer. And under the last layer we have the motors as well as some more frame and the main bedding threads, the screws, uh, that, that of course go with that. And looks like we have, yeah, more motors. So all the pieces there. Wow, this is the heavy one. So looks like we've got some work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this work done right now. Looks like uh, I've got one, two, three different sets of pieces to go through. Luckily there are some instructions, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at those instructions and see if we can't build this. Time lapse time, woo! Because you put your motor on wrong, you had to fix the motor, put it on the right way, on the back side. Alright, now if I hit over here, I go to on all.
montage over. So there we go. We've got the A8 Anet desktop 3D printer Prusa i3, and we finally put it together. Uh, this is uh, one of the first guys I actually finished right there. Uh, he was actually very smooth on one side, but kind of jittery on the other side, so I actually had to do a little bit of configuring and get the printer to be uh, just troubleshooted just properly. So make sure your belts are tight, and also uh, the instructions. I didn't actually have any instructions when I opened it up. I noticed with some other videos, people actually had the piece of paper that told them what videos to go to. Um, what I did is I put it all together um, using old videos from different printers, and then basically uh, just kind of tweaked it as I went. And then after, when I found the real directions, I went and put it back together the right way. So um, now it's working just phenomenally, and I actually got to this awful, awesome looking bear cup. And it's, uh, yeah, we'll have to do some close-ups there. I'm actually very impressed with how this one came out. The details are very, very good, considering that we, uh, you know, just simply threw this guy together and the level had just been configured right before this, so here we go. So far, I haven't hooked up the printer to the computer yet, so I don't have any of the firmware upgrades of any kind. I have just gotten on the little memory card that came with it. I put it in and have been printing the test prints that came with it. And these, these are the test prints that are right here. Um, also, I printed the pyramid, which came out pretty well. Um, the, the problem is it kind of warped a little bit because I didn't have the level perfect. So if you're experiencing warping with stuff, you know, the basic PLA material, it's probably because the, the, the bed is not level or not up against the, the, you know, the heating element enough to actually get enough of the smush on that first layer. Ho oh, ho ho, super cool, super cool. Of course, we had the box. The box, it's not a box, it's a little mini tray. And I don't know what you could put in this tray. <laughs> And of course, here's the very first thing that I printed with the printer, which is, a, I guess, a Chinese checker piece. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got the emblem on there, uh, something I cannot read. Of course, what I thought was great was it has a, it says print test figure. And when you print it out, it gives you a little Shia LaBeouf figure. Just do it. Ah. And of course, it did take some time configuring it, so uh, definitely going to have to play with it as much as possible to make sure it works the best for you. Um, also, a piece of uh, advice is you can get a PEI board for about $15 on Amazon, and that can just go right on there, and it really, really helps the prints stick, and it was very, very easy to install. So I recommend you getting one of those. Uh, lastly, I got this printer for about $150 at GearBest.com, and from there, you can actually put it together yourself once it comes. It usually takes about two weeks to get to you. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. We did also add a PEI board onto this, so it's got the PEI uh, adhesive board on there, which just you know makes it a lot more, uh, you know, it makes it stick a lot easier. So as you can see, this printer first it will go to home, and then after it goes to home, it's going to then get ready to start printing. It does not have an auto level, so you have to make sure to level it on each surface before you start. But once it is ready to go, we're going to see it here. It first goes home, and now it begins.